look, I've had this hanging in my wardrobe five years. Please make some little girl or boy happy with this suit. Basically, my own daughter is making a communion this year and before Christmas I had bought a dress and a few bits and pieces and I went to try them on with my mum and they didn't fit her so I had surplus communion stuff and I was thinking there must be so many households who have surplus communion clothes that want to give them to a good cause. So um, I know Louise from working in the community so I came to her and uh, asked her would she be interested in setting up a pop-up shop. It's been just so beautiful actually. In particular we had a couple of girls come in together, they were making their communion together and they just jumped for joy, they really did and their parents were just delighted, absolutely delighted. The response from the community, outside the community, we've had a, a, an email from a girl from Holland, saw the article in the newspaper and asked could she donate and post over her, her daughter's communion dress. So that came all the way from Holland. We've had a lady from Galway donating dresses for mothers. You know, it's not just about the child, what about the mother? Because we linked in with all the organisations in Ballymon, the schools, so the school liaisons have put their flyer up, they speak to families, so the, they were able to send the families up to us, but it was all done confidentially and some of the families would really need the support and help to be able to add this, take the financial stress because it, they're only now um, getting over the Christmas loans. So to borrow, have a big loan again for a communion loan is huge, so any way that we could support it support the families, this is what it's about. We've done three of them so far, which was very successful. We're doing another one today, Saturday, and another one in April. So basically we have a time slot, half hour, to keep it very confidential for parents coming in. So when they come in, they'll be greeted. Um, the children come in, big smiles on their faces, absolutely delight, even the little boys. My God, the, the boys come in, they know the colour they're looking for. They have it in their head what they're looking for. The girls come in and it's all about twirling around. It's all about showing the dress off, the headdress. They're leaving here and they're fully, fully equipped for today. The